Dreams do come true. But with the signature swirling impressionistic illustrations convey love and loss so effectively that Chris Roshka was awarded this year's Caldecott Medal for a ball for Daisy. Daisy loved and lost a red ball and Chris's wordless illustrations make sure the reader knows how despondent the dog is over the loss of her beloved toy. No words needed. It seems only fitting that the winner of this year's Caldecott Medal would present the award for illustrator of the year. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Chris Rashka. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. Whatever their media of choice, the Illustrator of the Year finalists provide the art that carries the emotion of the story and often tells so much more than words alone can. Artists bring the characters we love to life. Characters like a dog, a blue horse, a llama, a precocious little girl named Pink Alicious, Ben, Rose, and New York City. These artists and their talent leave us all a little wonderstruck. The Children's Choice Book Award finalists for Illustrator of the Year are Felicia Bond for If You Give a Dog a Donut, Eric Carl for the artist who painted a blue horse, Anna Dudney for Llama Llama Home with Mama, Victoria Kahn for Silverlicious, Brian Selznick for Wonderstruck. And the illustrator of the year is Brian Selznick. Oh, thank you. Uh, I really, really didn't want to be an illustrator growing up. I worked really hard to not be an illustrator, and uh, I didn't get into Yale for uh, set design, um, thank God, and I ended up getting a job at Eeyore's Books for Children, where my boss was Steve Geck, and his girlfriend at the time was Diana Blau, and I showed um, my, my book I was working on, I finally started working on something, and Steve said, well, my girlfriend's the Manhattan sales rep for Random House, would you like to look at it, I'd like her to look at it, and I said, that would be, that would be great. I didn't know that she was working for Random House, and so uh, she looked at it and said, oh, this is great, let me bring it to an editor, and so she brought it to Ann Schwartz, and mm -hmm. Ann published the Houdini Box, and Diana and Ann are here tonight. So I want to thank both of you for getting me started on this <laughs> road. I, I want to thank the Children's Book Council for the amazing work that you do. Uh, I want to thank my family at Scholastic. I have been working with Scholastic uh, with, since 1992, three, four, when we started working, four-ish. And, um, and it, it has really been a, a home to me. And I want to thank especially Sharice Maloto for making sure that everyone knows <laughs> about my books and David Saylor for making them so beautiful along with his partner Charles Kreloff and especially Tracy Mack for really f looking at my work and understanding that I was better than I thought I was. And so thank you so much. And I want to apologize to my boyfriend, David Serlin, because I made Wonderstruck for Gary Schmidt's wife. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was on a flight not too long ago and they were playing Hugo and I just looked up and there was Selznick on screen on all the small little screens and it's been great just all night to look down and there's, there's Selznick. So happy to, to see him here and see him win. <laughs> 